Welcome to Reality is Undefeated. I'm Ant Gatewood. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, listen, man. Just because you can't see the value in someone does not mean that that person is without value. See, I strongly believe that everyone on earth does something very well, okay? It's just my belief. I may be wrong. Call me naive. Whatever. I don't have any data to back that up. It's just my belief. I remember seeing a video last month where a man's in uniform, looks like he's at a restaurant waiting on his food, right? And a person walks up to him, asking him all types of questions. You know, are you in the Navy or whatever? And he says, yes. And, you know, he asked him what he, what he did. And I think he said he was administrative staff or something like that, right? And the person just goes on basically belittling him because he's out of shape, right? Insulting the man just left and right. Oh, when I was in the military, everyone had to be in shape. And, you know, if this is, you know, what we have to offer, then we're fucked, right? And, and you're absolutely right. If our administrative staff ends up on the front lines, we are fucked as a country, right? Our military is fucked at that point. Um, but I, I just, I think it was extremely ignorant for that person to do that because although you're looking at this person in uniform who appears to be out of shape, and I say appears to be because there's a lot of people who, you know, don't have the tightest body, but who are fucking athletic as fuck, like outrun hell of us, right? It, I can't explain this shit, but I've seen it. So like I say, appears to be, um, but it's just ignorant for someone to say that because you don't know what that person does. You don't know what his job is, what he specifically does. Yeah, he may not be anything physically, but he might be sharp as hell up here. Yeah, he might be a fucking wizard behind that computer screen. He might be the person who has to sit behind that screen and, and communicate to a helicopter team the coordinates of where the ground team actually needs help at, where they need supplies dropped at, where, where a medical rescue needs to be made at. He might be that type of person. And because he isn't physically appealing to you, he doesn't have value. He shouldn't be in the military. That doesn't make any sense. And see, I see a lot of people doing this across the board. Like how many times have you guys, may not have happened to you, but how many times have you witnessed someone break up from someone and be engaged six months later? Because to that person, they didn't have value. To the person they're engaged to, they see value in them that person couldn't see. And it's not even necessarily that that person couldn't see the value. It could be that what that person's value is, is valuable to that person, but it's not valuable to the person they broke up from. Perfect example. To a single man, a Chevy Suburban is invaluable. Yeah, it could fit all your homies, go on some dope road trips. Got some racks on the top of the roof, throw some kayaks up there. You know, you can, you can, you know, lay down those seats, you know, make a camp out of it, right? But that's pretty much the only value it's going to have to a single man. However, to a married man with four kids, there is no vehicle on this earth more valuable than a Chevy Suburban. It's big has space, you won't have to worry about, dad, he's touching me because it's sitting cramped in a car, holds all of the family luggage, holds the double stroller, holds the double stroller and the groceries. There is no vehicle better for a married man with four kids than a Chevy Suburban. Was the single man wrong for ditching a Chevy Suburban? No, the Chevy Suburban was not valuable to that person, that's why they couldn't see the value. But to the married man with four kids, he could see the value that the suburban had and therefore it was valuable. This is also why I believe in right person, wrong time. Because yeah, that single man don't need that Chevy Suburban right now, but he's gonna grow up and one day he's gonna have his own family and he's gonna remember the vehicle that was perfect for that situation. And see, sometimes we just come into each other's lives at the wrong point. I might not have matured all the way yet. You might not be in a mental state 
to deal with me. We can't see it for each other right now. But in five years, five, six, seven years down the line, I may look back and remember that the person you were then was exactly who I needed in my life right now. But that's me going off into a whole nother topic. I say all of that to say what I said to begin this video. Just because you can't see the value in someone doesn't mean that that person is without value. Y'all already know what to do. I'll holla.